Welcome back to the channel everybody. So I'm currently running the little, not really a competition, just a little bit of a giveaway and you get some bonus entries if you work a piece of opal with some sandpaper. So today, I can't really expect you guys to do it and not do it myself, so... And I also want a chance to win of course. I've got a little piece of opal, lightning ridge, crystal from the black opal direct beginners parcel which I still haven't actually gotten through because I keep getting distracted on other things. And in the background you can see I've got my full full range of sandpapers. Actually there's one missing. Here we go, another one. And we're going to go through and we're going to work on this piece. So like I said, it's a it's a little crystal opal. Nothing overly fancy about it. If I give it a little bit of a wet, you'll see it a little bit better. So it's got this purple, pretty broad purple flash over the top. It's, yeah, it's it's not too bad. We should be able to get something out of it. It's got this black potchy area. One little black potch inclusion there, which, you know, I could... I could keep in there and possibly get some of some of that body tone body tone in with the color like just here so we'll see we'll see how it goes it would be nice to have this what I'm envisaging is this nice crystal section over here and then this nice black opal section over here with just a nice purple flash over the top we'll we'll see how it goes and of course we're going to do it all with sandpaper starting at about a oh, about 120 grit just to really change the shape, we'll go for a bit more of a rounded shape here. I'll keep it fairly free form unless the opal speaks to me and says it wants a certain shape. But yeah, and we'll work all the way up past 2000, 2000 grit and see what it looks like. Maybe even do a bit of cerium oxide. I'm going to do it all by hand. I probably won't dop this one. I've picked a stone that I can get a nice grip on. It's fairly large. I might have to dop it when I decide to do do the face if one side's a bit disappointing but we'll see we'll see how it goes it's been a long time since i've done a australian opal with sandpaper last time i did one was with an indonesian wood opal which is a lot softer than this lightning ridge material but it is it is pretty relaxing it is pretty fun expecting cramps in the hand just here that'll lock up at some point i'll see if i can catch it on footage if i if it pops up but yeah Take it easy and just chill and get this thing scrubbed up. So let's do it.
And here we are, all finished. So, I sound a little bit unwell, and that's because I am. Definitely not 100% this weekend, but I just chilled out and worked on this little piece here. So, this is how it's ended up. It doesn't have the finest finish ever on it. It's only a two and a half thousand sandpaper. It had lots of these, lots of these potch lines going through it. A lot of the sand cleaned out, but all in all, it's not an absolute gem. It's also a bit of a weird shape. I didn't really get stuck into shaping it too much. But what I did notice when I was using it is that I could possibly use it as a guitar pick. So I might, I might play with that and see how that goes. But I'll, I'll wait and see when I feel a little bit better than what I do at the moment. Um, I'll just give it a bit more of a wet so you get an idea of what it would look like if I went full full mirror finish and got some cerium oxide onto it. It's basically just got a broad purple flash across the whole surface. Of course it's most evident across the uh, darker bit as you would expect. But yeah, not the cleanest piece. A lot of potch lines still through it. Some cool little purple. And I will now enter this into the Royce Rocks competition and hopefully snag myself a free parcel of opals. So good luck to everyone else in it. There are hundreds of entries so far, so I I will show off the prize at some point. I still haven't finished putting it together, but once I do, I'll show that off and give people a bit of a reminder. But I reckon we're about halfway through the competition, but I've got mine done. Hopefully you guys are working on yours or have already got yours done. Plenty of people have already entered, so whoever wins, it's going to be some tough competition because there are lots of entries. And yeah, I might even have to have more than one winner. So stay tuned and yeah, keep sending through your work. It's been excellent. This is actually, this is definitely not one of the best ones I've seen. You guys have done way better. Probably spent a bit more time and probably a bit healthier than what I was doing mine, but easily some of the ones that I've seen have been much better and it's been so good to see that people are getting their younger ones involved as well. So keep it up, spread the joy, and I'll see you in the next video.